All right, well, I'm working with Dr. Stifler's uh, SEC circuit, and there's been a modification that I just had to try, and it was done by um, Lattice333, as Jonathan, and uh, it's Dr. Stifler's SEC circuit. It's an LED circuit, and he added a whole bunch of LEDs, which the doctor's also shown in some of his videos, but what captured my attention was there's no AV plug here. Uh, the AV plug is a diode going one direction and a diode going the other direction, so you can feed energy off one wire. All these diodes go this way on this circuit, and there's no return path. There's no way to get the energy back and around this. It just ends here, and all the diodes go that way. Now, the way this circuit's supposed to run, this is a filter, by the way, which I'm not using. It's for a power source. But the energy comes in through here, supposedly in a normal circuit, runs through this, the transistor and the coils and the capacitor, and then supposedly feeds, feeds the load. But on this circuit, it's all going that direction. <laughs> so anyway, it does work. It's an amazing thing to watch. And I added a part to it right here. I put a charge battery in it. And uh, you come off the LEDs and you go into a charge battery before it hits these switching diodes. These two diodes right here are switching diodes. And same thing over here. These are a, a cluster of switching diodes, which you have to have on this circuit to make it work. Uh, on the uh, fluorescent circuit, you don't need these, but on this LED circuit, you do. Anyway, I made a charger out of it, and I ran it last night with half-dead batteries, and it does work. And I'm just using 9-volt batteries. I'm going to show it loading up a capacitor here. This is a 50-volt, 2200 microfarad capacitor. That's going to be the charge going up on the capacitor right there. And uh, you can see the lights are on right now. Uh, normally, I would have the battery in there, but for this demonstration, I'll just show the energy going into the capacitor. This comes off the circuit here with one wire. This is going into there. And these wires here are strictly to go to the capacitor and the meter to show what's going on with the capacitor. The circuit's being fed by the one wire. But all these diodes, the switching diodes and the LEDs, they all face that direction. So that's something to remember here. The amp draw on the system right now is 8 milliamps. This is an um, analog meter set at 25 milliamp scale. And right now it's running at about 7.5 milliamps on a 9 volt source. Okay, I have the capacitor grounded out right now. I'm going to unground it. I want you to watch this meter. See if I can get the light on it here. That'll work just like that. I'll do that. Okay, watch the meter go. Here goes the cap. Like I say, that's a 50 volt, 2200 microfarad cap. That's a pretty big cap for something like this. I need to be up around 13 volts or so, or more, to be able to put energy in this 9 volt battery. So remember, what I'm going for is I'm going for enough push to push energy into that 9 volt battery. And here it comes. Okay, right about now, I've got enough push on that thing to shove energy in that battery. And I did this last night with a couple of half-dead 9 volts just to see if it worked before I ran this video. And it does work. It works quite well. And I'm using uh, alkaline batteries. The better thing would be the uh, nickel metal hydrides, but the alkalines do work on something like this. And you can see the energy just keeps right on climbing on this thing. This would probably actually charge a 12-volt battery. It would go very, very, very slow, but I think in the course of time, you would actually put a charge on this, uh, this thing. Amperage is probably very, very low on this, but it is there, and it is enough to put energy in a little battery like that. Okay, I'm going to ground out the cap now. You're going to see a big spark happen right here. Okay, now the cap's grounded out again. That went back down to zero. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the battery on it. See if I can get this done here. Just to show that this thing still runs with a battery hooked up to it. See the lights went out. I'm going to put the battery on it now. There go the lights back on again.
Now I've got the battery on here, no more capacitor. That's done. And like I say, what's happening here is I've got energy coming out, supposedly, the one wire hitting this, and then something's happening here because energy is flowing back into this, and I'm capturing it in that battery right there. And this is an amazing thing. The amp draw went up a little bit, went up to about 10 milliamps, but I'm still way down there. And I could do this for days and days and days, I've decided. At that uh, 8 to 10 milliamp draw right there, I just swap batteries back and forth like the JT circuit or um, Bedini circuit back and forth. It worked quite well. Anyway, I just want to share this with people. This is quite a circuit. This is the Lattice 333 modification of Dr. Stifler's LED SEC circuit. Look it up on the energeticforum.com under energy from thin air. High voltage from thin air, I'm sorry. It's Dr. Stifler's thread at the energetic forum.